Pool life, it's the only life we know. Pool life, when you put it in the hole. Pool life, it's the cowboy show. Pool life, when you get that lucky roll. Ten ball pool. When you think about ten ball pool, you can't help but not think of Shane Van Bonin's break. It is a thing of beauty. In today's lesson, I'm gonna help you break like SVB. The stance, how do we stand when we're breaking? I've already done a video when we're playing the regular shots, putting the ball and all this, we're very square on. That's to stop the movement of the body. You can only go side to side. Now, we want to move on the break, but we don't want to move side to side. So, some people do do this and they're lacking power. They're like this China break and you can't go anywhere, right? So what you need to do is, lead life always in line with the cue ball, we've covered this in many, many videos. And we want to be more side on like so. That means we can rock back and forward. So I'm just going to set up quickly. So my right leg is still in line with the cue ball. Don't put your left leg exactly in line because you're not going to get your cue in, you're going to be falling all over the gaff. So just a bit more to the left. Is it here? Is it here? Whatever. Figure it out. Practice it. My setup's like this. Now, what that allows me to do is, upon impact, it lets me just drive the body through. Gets more power. Just drives the body through into the cue ball. More power. I'm going to drop a video in from the side on view. And if you're feeling fancy, finish with a Filipino leg. So the next thing is, where do we want to put our cue ball? Now, this might not seem like it's important, but it is a little bit important. Now, at the end of all these little tips and tricks what I'm showing you, I'm going to play a load of break shots and, and explain, and you'll see it more in depth. A lot of the guys, if that's centre of the pack, you move it either side. Personal preference which side you want to put it on, there's no right or wrong. I personally prefer it on the right. Yeah. Again, some guys, they pick a, a ball that they put it in line with purely so it's consistent. So you're always putting it in line. It's been a while since I played. I forgot where I put it. So let's just put it here. Right? Now, the reason for this is when you break at 10 ball, when I hit that head ball and the cue ball comes back, the head ball will squeeze to the left, my left as I'm looking, and come up towards this corner pocket. Very important, get your cue ball to the left or to the right. Okay, this is my setup. This is how I would set up to break the 10 ball rack. My gap from where I hold the cue to the cue ball is roughly around 10 inches. You can go a tiny bit closer, you can come a little bit further back. Now, you don't want to be doing it off the rail here, obviously, because look at all this. No good. So roughly between 8 to 12 inches, I would suggest, is pretty good. Now, if you have a look at my hand, when I'm breaking, it's not flat. Right? So when you're playing a shot, you want to try and get your cue shaft as flat as possible to the bed of the slate. When you're breaking, you cue down on the ball. And the reason for this is you want the cue ball to pop off the pack. So as you can see on the bridge hand, it's quite high, isn't it? So what that means is as I drive through, I'm kind of striking down a little bit and it's making the cue ball bounce and then you get the pop. I'll hit a few breaks so you can see what happens to the cue ball when we've got a flat bridge end as opposed to a higher bridge end and striking down. So for the purpose of this video, I've used two pink balls below the head ball. 
right? And the idea of this is when you break at 10 ball, you're looking to squeeze either pink ball into the side pocket. That is the aim of the 10 ball break. I'm not gonna talk about sometimes you get a ball going off the four rails and all that. This is purely about trying to break consistent and getting a cue ball and cutting out the areas of scratching. So at the minute, we're looking at the two balls behind the head ball into the side. I'm gonna hit some breaks now. And after each break, we'll talk about what's happened. I'm probably not gonna hit some like consistently good breaks um, because I'm rubbish and I don't play anymore. But it doesn't matter if it's a good break or a bad break, we'll discuss what's happened. Right, let's go. Well, I tell you what, Shane, oh, I parked the cue ball, lovely. The one ball come up this channel, wasn't watching the side, but I think a pink's gone in, we'll check on the video. The one ball did get kicked away, but boy, did it hit them good. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to purposely hit a bad break. I'm going to put my bridge hand a lot lower. I'll stick a picture in here so you can see how parallel my shaft is to the, the table. And watch what happens with the cue ball. I'm going to try and get it to come towards this middle and there'll be no pop on the cue ball. And there you see. I actually made the wing, uh, the side balls in the side pockets, but there was no pop. And if you don't hit center on the head ball, you will often see a scratch. I'm sure many of you have done that. You need to get that ball popping past the middle. Let's hit another break. So I'm gonna go back to hitting a good break shot here with the correct bridge end, striking down on the cue ball and try and get that pop. But sometimes we don't always hit the head ball as square as we'd like. And if we don't, you often see the cue ball arc to the left or the right. Now, the beauty of striking down on the cue ball to get the pop is that we get enough power on it so we do arc it past the side. If you see people break and they're scratching in the side pocket, generally means that the hand is too low, which we've obviously discussed. So now I'm going to try and purposely get the cue ball to arc past the side pocket so you can see so there you see i didn't hit them square but because i've got the right elevation on my bridge hand i'm always going to cut the scratch out this is what we want now we're going to talk about speed just a little tip on the speed if this is let's say a one and this is a 10. That is in between roughly about a five. So that video, there's a lot to take in. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask me in the comments or via my email address, whichever way, Insta, Facebook, all that. Main thing is, Keep your cue ball to the left or right, get your feet facing forward and try and work on driving through the cue ball and get your bridge jam higher and you'll start to see what's going on yourself on the break. I hope you enjoyed this video. Oh, and by the way, who liked my new intro? Pool life, it's the only life you know. I want to thank my guy Raymondo for making that and I'm not going to tell you who sang it. All my friends from Manchester Try and tell me who you think sang that song. Guys, until next time, 